What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Brooklyn Frost slept with Jay Cinco. Girl, I don't know. Let's get it. Supporters are worried that she's moving on too fast. Recently, she's been hanging out with Deshae Frost's brother, Mel Mel, a lot. And she revealed in a recent stream when someone commented, if you like Mel Mel, blink twice. And she did. Who is this girl? Someone comments, she never takes a break from love. She needs to learn to grow Wait, up. is this the girl that was just dealing with, um, Runic? The Runic situation? Who just traveled from across the world or whatever? Alone for a minute. I swear it just gotta be a cancer. We do not heal. We just keep going. Oh my God, y'all talking about he seemed genuine. Y'all have said this about every guy she has been with. Just chill. I'm happy for her, but how y'all just be moving on so fast, bro? I get what y'all saying about heal, but everyone heals different. Nobody finna be sitting around moping about someone when you could be out chasing love. Just believe in God and God heals all and will. Melba did speak out about him and just here's what he had to say. I want to keep... Like, I try, bro, it's so hard to keep, keep things chill for a sec, but it's like, damn, I have to stream. It's like, oh shit, they're about to clip all this. I like to keep sh certain stuff, like, kind of, you know, low, low Korean for the time being, just so there's not a lot of chit chatter in everyone's ears, and just like, Maybe it's not what someone needs right now, you know? Jay Seiko responded to Brooklyn Frost's viral lie detector test video. Have you ever fucked Cinco since y'all break up? No. That's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Brooklyn, why you be lying? Oh my God. This is rigged. <laughs> Here's what Jay Seiko had to say. When you hear certain things that aren't true, it makes it hard because, you know, as a person, you always want to just defend yourself. You feel me? You always want to defend yourself or rebuttal like as far as like you know just like kind of prove your point and stuff but i just felt like certain things don't need your approval you feel what i'm saying um you know you just I, i've learned to just leave things where they're at you know and just do better you feel me so it'd be hard to not speak on that shit because you know you always want to give your input but when you really like when you really elevate mentally bro you in a different space mentally man i mean a different space like some people just say they in a different space I'm in a real different space, you feel me? When you're in a real different space, you realize what's important and what's not, you feel that's me? You okay. understand? That's why me, I've never been a to really like, unless my my hand is forced. I never do this willingly. Anytime I ever do anything, it's always because my hand is forced, but I never do things willingly because I value my morals. I value, you know, myself more than views. Drewski's being called out by this for comments he made about Ray on Kaisen is Alive. Oh, I knew this was coming. No. <laughs> Why would the fuck? That was a straight. That was uncalled for. I strike said one. That. Why the fuck would that be I right? I shouldn't have said that was racist. See, I uh, I assumed it was right. So I didn't. <laughs> Kevin, I didn't. Kevin, you don't think I'm racist, do you? <laughs> this nigga Drewski had Kevin Hart laughing the whole Just, time. Why the fuck would that be right? It looked like fucking rice. Yeah, I thought it was a. I thought it was white rice. That's what they fucking eat. I thought it was rice. Yeah, we're gonna just no, eat not rice. that. No, that's what they eat is crazy. It looked like fucking rice, did it not? Everybody can say it. That's bullshit. These guys are fucking idiots. It looked like rice, no? <laughs> guys, it looked like rice. It's clearly ice cream. It looks like fucking rice. <laughs> He's stupid. <clears throat> All right, y'all. He got the funniest, um, the funniest creator right now. What y'all think about that? I think Desi Banks should have been number one. Desi was highly upset about that, but I right, definitely think it. Desi Banks should have been number Just... one. All right, y'all, let's get into So Real Tea. Supporters wanted to know, would Senya have, have another baby first. with Trey? And Senya answered and stated no. Trey did seem Three a little taken back by her answer. Know. He did ask her why, and she stated that she just don't see herself having another baby with him. But comments, man. I ain't gonna lie, I, I reacted to this. I have no animosity towards the air. Yeah, I reacted to this. All right, I'm gonna add some. What's up, y'all? I got a family feed. Matter of fact, X out all that. Let's just finish Voices video. Well, Randy Jr. was being messy after he posted and delete a picture in New York with Future playing in the background. She gripping on my bones. I got a move type shit. Basically speaking on what happened with Ty Lil's sister last week, but Ty Lil went live for the first time since the situation. Here's what he had to say. Ty Lil says that his sister was wrong and she's banned and got cameras around the house. I apologize to his family. I apologize to his team. I apologize in person right after the situation happened through text and over the phone. I apologize in every way. 
You understand what I'm saying? And we spoke, and we spoke to each other. We spoke, and Michael's fine. Like, we've been in contact. He's fine. He's good. That's first. You feel what I'm saying? I had to make sure he was straight. I had to make sure you feel what I'm saying. Even even if even if even if he wasn't even if he wasn't speaking to me with a clear mind, when it was all said and done, he said he was fine. And he said, I appreciate you for making sure I'm good and and I respect that you respect however I want to go about it. So however Michael wanna have to go about the situation, I respected it, you feel what I'm saying? I didn't judge him, I didn't I didn't try to I didn't try to defend what my dad done. I just respected it. You feel me? And chat. I'm going to be honest. I spoke out of context about something I didn't see and, and I dealt with it. You know what I'm saying? What my sister did was very unacceptable. What she did was dead ass wrong. Keep your hands to yourself. It was very inappropriate and we was not raised like that. Kaisenet and Ray was hanging out with Noth was for her birthday. Noth told her mom, Kim Kardashian, that Kaisenet was her favorite streamer and that she wanted him to come to her birthday party, which he did. So I'm glad he was able, nah, 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 in the chat. able to make her happy on her birthday. They want to say hi to you. Who? What? What's up? More life. Yeah. More life. What's the word? What up? Yo, so fed up. So what's North? Tell me what you told me. My braider has a crush on you. Your braider? All right, so you gotta lock me in. She can work. Yeah, yeah, she gonna lock me in. I right, bet that, bro. Safety, safety, safety. All right, 100. Zanique said that she's single, single after the video of her baby father doing the 20 verse 1 was trending. The real reason why people are dragging it is because he calls Zanique his Coretta Scott. But Zanique tweet, she said, Do I need to write single woman on my forehead? Like, how many times I gotta say this? Let that man find a woman in peace. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Carmen did. I ain't gonna cap. They kind of need to let that boy just go on hang on about his business. Place no time moving on her new boo, Big Boogie, who was a popular rapper, has been leaving hearts underneath her pictures. Carmen recently been commenting on if his pictures a lot and allegedly they're together for the weekend. Corey has a new boo as well and she has a message for Carmen. Listen, listen, I'm here. Hold on. 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 Hold on.